there's no water when you come down here. I mean, if you come in summer, it's gonna be dry. But from here, you get the best, best photos of the bridge. What a beautiful piece of history. Just like, so stunning. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Skoda, Albania, the cultural capital of the country. It's located in the very north. This is the gateway to the Albanian Alps. It's located on Lake Skoda and it borders Montenegro. Today what I wanna do is I'm gonna give you a tour of my guest house, Kevin Holmes, the owner Andy is my friend. He's taking me around for the next few days and he owns Travel Albanian Alps. We're gonna see the guest home. There's four rooms, one double room and three triple rooms. We're gonna have some breakfast, simple breakfast, and from here we're gonna go take a tour of the city. Are you guys ready, are you excited? Let's go explore Skoda. So once we pass the gate, here is the house. Over here we have a terrace. On the very end we have the bar. So this is where they make breakfast, but also at night you can come here and have some drinks. If you wanted to camp out, like just bring your tent, you can do it right here in the center. There's some fruits, some different trees, and this table is my breakfast table, and we're gonna take a tour of the house now. So as I told you, Andy's the owner of this house. Bottom floor is his family's house, right? So his family's here and over here. And once you go upstairs, there's the four rooms. But here on the bottom level, they have a map of Albania, so you can see where you are. We're up here, Skodera, and over here are the Alps, right? Albanian Alps. They also offer these tours, so three days, three days, three days, different tours. So the best thing to do is probably do this one, which will take you around here to this lake, you go up, the lake, then eventually you get to Valbona, then you hike eight hours, and you see that, and you come back. That's three days. That's what you should do. So really, you should probably just take a four or five days to explore the northern part of Albania. Let's go upstairs. And this is it. Four rooms up here, and you have the bathroom. Over here, this room has three beds. Beautiful, simple. Over here we have a terrace. Nice. And then this room over here, straight across, has a queen bed. Perfect, so, so this place is for couples or if you really want a bigger bed, stay here. This room is basically the same as that room. It's basically identical, right? Love the ceiling, nice wood. So this is like a typical home here in Albania, right? This is a guest house. You're living, you're staying at somebody's house. And this is my room. So you see two beds, it really has three beds, but he took a bed out because he said, you know, I should have more space for all my luggage, right? Sorry for the mess, There's too many things here. And over here is the bathroom. Nice, clean, affordable, it's perfect. All right, let's go to breakfast. Andy, what's happening, where's my coffee? My oh man, you good? I'm all right, thanks, you. Awesome, thank you, thank you. Oh, I didn't even show you guys, look, so over here, we have some vines. So he's growing grapes. Obviously, if he really wanted to, he can make some rakia. That's what usually what people do at home. Wow, look at this. That is beautiful. Dude, you should put a table out here. And this is our breakfast. We have some eggs, cheese, tomato, cucumber, butter, jam, espresso, tea, bread, and apricot juice. It's like pure, the best. Mm. And so this is all included in the price so it's 12 euro per bed for the you know for the three rooms 24 euros for the other room go over here and get some eggs make myself a little sandwich simple homey mm -hmm. and basically off from the farm off from the garden the cheese is the best mm -hmm. the tomatoes here oh my god breakfast in albania so you should have some rakia too there is his homemade rakia so without this, you can't really wake up in Albania. That's for sure. This is the best part of the breakfast, man. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! <laughs> That's perfect. I love it. They pair this in the morning with their coffee. Again, this is to wake up, give you energy. Just have one little shot. You gave me more than a shot, man. <laughs> That's the Albanian shot. Okay. <laughs> That's the best. And this rakia is produced by Andy's father. So it's super natural. And this is how you should drink it. You should drink it from somebody's home. Never really from bars and stuff, because that's more, that's more from like, you know, bigger wineries and stuff. I mean, which is still good stuff, but this is like 
the pure, amazing Albanian rakia. Gotta limit this. So too much, but this is awesome breakfast. Simple, everything I need. Lots of energy. Mm. I call this the Albanian breakfast sandwich. Mm. So that's our simple breakfast. Now let's go explore Skora. Follow me. Ready to rock and roll? This is called the Boulevard Iskanderbevis, around about uh, 400 meters before you go to the square of the city. Big church down there, and the and the pedestrian, a small pedestrian street on the left-hand side. Then the, uh, on the, the other side is the Hotel Tradita and towards to go to the castle and to the lake where we built last night, obviously to the Hotel Tradita. Up here as we go, we're going to the, towards to the main square of the city. And this is the center of Skodra. As you can see, lots of life right now. Never ending amount of vendors. It's like basically like an open bazaar, the whole thing, right? Just endless vendors selling, you know, shivap chichi or Kebab, right? Kebab. Kebab. You got some vegetables over here. You have toys for kids. You have shoes, shirts. I mean, never ending everything, basically. It's just shop after shop after shop. And we're actually going to exit the city and go, I think, towards the east, right? And that is the bridge. What's it called? The bridge? Messy Bridge. Messy Bridge. This is the oldest Ottoman bridge in the country. Stone Bridge dates back like 500 years. And yeah, it's one of the sites you have to see here. It was it looks, since the Turkish were here. Since the Turkish were here? The Ottomans, the Ottomans. And over here to the left, we have the Messy Bridge. So it was built in 1770 by an Ottoman Pasha. And here we go, let's go see it. And this is the bridge, guys. Wow. The oldest bridge, Ottoman bridge in Albania. Look at this. Stones. I love these bridges. I've been to a few of them in Bosnia. I mean, they're just gorgeous. Look at that. Arches. This bridge is 108 meters long, 3.4 meters wide, 12.5 meters high with 13 arches and is one of the longest examples of an Ottoman bridge in the area, in the region of the Balkans. Just gorgeous. Look at this. This reminds me actually like a, like the Ottoman bridge in Visegrad in Bosnia. Beautiful spot. One of my favorite spots in Bosnia. This is just gorgeous. Look at this. You have the Alps over here. Over here you have the river. It's actually dry right now. It's summer. When you come to Messy Bridge, cross the bridge. You can start from either side and then come down to the bottom, to the bedrock, you know, the river, the bottom of the river. You can come here to the area where I am. It's a little risky here. Just really be careful because you can easily fall. Just come here and get some photos. Enjoy the view. Again, this is a classic classic Ottoman architecture here in Albania. That is the bridge. Come down here to the bedrock. Come to the bottom of the river. Hopefully there's no, there's no water when you come down here. I mean, if you come in summer, it's gonna be dry. But from here, you get the best, best photos of the bridge. What a beautiful piece of history. Just like, so stunning. All right, let's go to the top. Let's get out of here. Andy, where to next? To the pedestrian street in the city. Let's go. You will love it. And this is the center of Skoda. Beautiful old center. As you can see, really colorful, very Italian looking. Lots of colors, lots of cafes. Yeah, for sure, let's do this. So we're gonna walk over to the pedestrian street. We're gonna see that. It's where a lot of people are just hanging out, drinking coffee. At night, it's a perfect place to have a drink. I actually, I have my office here, so I spend all my time here. <laughs> okay, awesome. All day, pedestrian street. Pedestrian street, that's yeah, it. Pedestrian street, yeah. Here is all the bars, the restaurant, the live musics, and everything you need here. You can come, relax with your family or relatives, eat, drink. So this is like a typical European street. Yep. You know, you come, relax, yep. drink. Everybody's here having coffees. Smoking a little cigarette and chill. Depends what kind of cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the street, we have the mosque. Yeah. So the mosque, two minarets. Beautiful. Lots of life right now. The street on the right hand side you have the mosque, on the left hand side you have the Catholic church. The, in the front of the mosque you have the Orthodox church. So like three of them together, and I always lived really happily together. So I never had any 
conflicts whatsoever here. The he loves his street. The only reason he loves his street is so he can have a rakia. No. Every bar where we go, he no, has to have a rakia. No, dude, Look I at me. I I'm out and I drink cola. He drinks rakia. Come on, does this make sense to you? I mean, no. this is what people drink in the morning, and you know what? It's yeah. actually really, really nice. He actually nice. opened his eyes with rakia, so, you know. Mm -hmm. The whole day is gonna go drinking rakia. I love this street, guys. It's a perfect place to just relax, hang out, right here in the shade. Awesome, over here, mosque. Over there, we have the center of the town, right? And that's it, Yeah. right? It's a great street. And all the major attractions are in the area, so right here, we have the mosque. Over here to the left, left and the right we have two churches so this is the center of christianity in albania this is like it's prominent here okay it's summer in albania just so you guys know summer gets really hot winter up here it's freezing right does it snow no, here it's not freezing it goes like 16 degrees it's not it's 16 not degrees freezing. oh okay okay so, freezing but doesn't snow here as well no not here only in the mountains or in the mountains only up north it snows up to four meters right. here not really not really no. Okay, so there's a souvenir shop here. Just wanted to see if we have anything traditional from Skodra. So, what's what's like the most like North Albania? What's North Albania here? What's the North Albania here? Let's see here. Uh, all these wooden okay. ones here, and I can't see it have a boo. What else? This is as well we used to use them before for the coffee. You put the coffee in here, twist this around. Lanterns, a lot of woodwork, they have mugs, they have different uh, ethno this one stuff. This uh, instrument which the Albanians use it. Mm -hmm. In Albania we call it Chiftelia. Alright, let's continue. Let's go see the mosque. Mosque time. Here we have the mosque. It's called Jamia Ebu Beker. And on the way to the castle, we could see more of a bazaar, right? Just never ending bazaar. And this bazaar is not like a traditional bazaar where it's just like one marketplace. This is spread around the whole city, different streets, different vendors, mainly selling. In each corner, you can find people selling especially vegetables. Vegetables. Fresh vegetables. Like I'm from the garden in the morning to the street and sell it. So, like, completely fresh. There's nothing wrapped up in plastic bags or anything like that. Frozen and defrozen. It's all fresh. And here we have the castle. What a monstrous stronghold. So as soon as you get to the castle, you have to take this narrow path all the way up, and then we have an entrance. And you said there we have balconies, you have basically incredible views overlooking Skoda city, the lake, the Alps. So this is the castle, it costs 300 lakh to get in. It's open every day from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Let's go inside. So I'm gonna climb all the way to the top of the castle. It's a big castle. Wow, I'm like running up. I, I highly suggest coming here really early. I'd say even when they open like 9 a.m. because now it's almost noon. Actually, it is noon and it is scorching here in Albania. I mean, just making your way up. Look at the views. What a beautiful spot. Over there we have the lake. We have Skodra. Over here, farmland. We have a moss right there. Wow. Beautiful castle. As you can see, incredible stone floor. Whole thing is original. Over here to the left and the right, we have these little arches. I'm guessing this is where the stables were. So if you were to enter, you know, enter the castle, leave your horse here, and then start walking in. Another gate, and we have a souvenir shop. Souvenir shop, everything Albania. Everything Albania. So this is how it's gonna be throughout the castle. You're gonna have beautiful viewpoints. You know, obviously this is a stronghold. So from here, they had to have a good view of everything. You know, city, the river, the lake. On the other side, you have mountains. As you make your way through this huge castle, you can see it never ends. You got the walls over here, and you go up a hill, right? So you have the main street in the middle, or path. And over here to the left and the right, we have the walls, we have the flag, and this, Right here shows you how big this castle is. So the entrance of the first courtyard is conducted passing through a gallery protected by a high dungeon. In the eastern part of this courtyard are preserved the ruins of the Venetian neighbor. The whole surface of this courtyard was protected by three towers built in different periods since the Middle Ages and the Ottoman period. As you keep making your way up the castle, you get here to the second courtyard. Here you see lots of ruins, more walls, there's actually a storage space, a prison, and a church, and later that church was converted into a mosque. There's also four barrels or vaults for water. 
and that's over there and over there. And here we have the barrels, similar to a well, basically just water storage tanks. Wow, lots of water still in there. Right here. This one doesn't have a fence. Woo, you fall in there, you ain't getting out. <laughs> Made it here to the end of the fortress. We have a museum over here. See, there's like a little shop right here. Get some water. And from here, we're gonna get beautiful views over the lake and a little bit of the mountains over here. Look at this view. Incredible. Look at the river, mountain, lake. I mean, this is just epic. epic. And that was our tour of Skodra, beautiful cultural city. We started off at Kevin Home Guest House. We had some breakfast, had a tour of the property. Then after that, we went to the Messy Bridge, the oldest Ottoman bridge in the country. Then from there, we went to the city center, saw the pedestrian street, had a little rocky, finally walked around, saw the mosque, saw the church, and then made our way all the way up here to Rozefa Castle. Rozefa Castle, what an incredible view. I think you need time there. Get there early because it's way too hot right now. It's almost 1 p.m. I'd say get there around 9 in the morning. You know, get awesome views. You can see the lake. You can see both rivers. And it's just an epic spot. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Skoda, Albania. <laughs>